funky thongs. Huh. This guy's literally won over 170 matches. Oh, green arrow, interesting. <laughs> Just gotta turn up a little. There we go. I thought I grabbed them. I punched it. What the? He doesn't even know you can combo after that. There we go. That's the one thing that's really weird about these green arrow players. For some reason they don't really know that you can combo after a super. And I guess this green arrow guy doesn't really know that. <laughs> well, at least now I know that, uh... At least now I know that Green Arrow Super can beat other Supers if you do yours too late. So that literally means you do have to jump in that if you want to do a Super. Oh, it's the same, it's the same guy again. Hmm. Oh well, here we go. Oh well. Oh. 
super, that's why. There we go. Yeah. There's another thing that's really good about Raven is that, um, I get some characters that like to spam projectiles, like for example, uh, Deathstroke or Green Arrow. Uh, her push move mixed with her projectile on that, that actually makes her zoning much better than most characters, actually. Nah. She can, like, as long as you know what to do against characters that have very fast, uh, projectiles like Deathstroke or Green Arrow, as long as you know what to do with Raven against them, then she can pretty much just beat them in terms of zoning very easily, unless, unless you make a mistake in that. That's where I think maybe she real. that's where I think maybe makes her one of the best in the game, in my opinion. Look at that, the Man of Steel. Uh, 1282 wins, 310 losses, over 1500 games this guy has played. It's just too bad that one of the things that's weird, weird about him is that he just quits in that. Like, he just leaves the game. That's what I experienced, though. Pretty interesting so far. So far, I haven't fought any uh, rage critters so far. Compared to day two or day three, that was by far the, my favorite one. <laughs> oh, I just need to fix something here for a sec. There we go. Okay, I think I might have jinxed myself. <laughs> I just jinxed myself, I think. Daddy Rich. I've actually fought this guy, I think, a few times, actually. Da -da -da. Another green arrow. Cyborg. Oh no, he picked the cyborg, huh? That's another character that, for some reason, I don't see that anybody play that much, actually. I don't really see a lot of people play cyborg, actually. I don't see a lot of people picking him. Nah. I know he's good at zoning in that, but a lot of people don't really seem to pick him. Only a few do. And this guy picks him. What? My move already came out. What the? What the hell? Okay. I think maybe the game ended by itself. I don't think this guy quit it or anything like that. Yep, I think I'm right. I don't think this guy quit. I think it was because of the lag. Because did you notice the lag spikes that came in during the match? <laughs> it's just so weird in that. It's just really weird in that. So weird. Oh, great. The same guy again. That's also one problem with the Wii U game because that, since the Wii U is not available in some other countries yet, well, well, at least in the UK it's available. But right now, though, for the Wii U version, and some, on most days you sometimes fight the same few people, actually. Only once in a while, only, some, only sometimes you fight different people. Well, it's obviously because most people prefer playing this on the other consoles, so that's another reason. And this thing that happens again.
Hmm. Okay, somebody new this time. Par Carnathan Nil. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's play some video games. Oh god, I can definitely tell there's a bit of lag in this one. My inputs again like delayed about for I'd say about half a second, I'd say. Beats <laughs> Is that robot thing? It keeps responding. I think I got him. Ah, oh, just out of range. I really hate that thing. I'm not gonna lie, I really hate it. There we go, got him. Whew. Yeah, that's one. That is one thing I don't like about the stage is that robot thing in the background like it respawns like infinitely like after you use it it respawns a few seconds after it's been used <laughs> and that's one that's definitely one thing i don't like about that stage is that when it goes over the opponent the opponent's the advantage in zoning they can pretty much just jump up and grab it and out of the way and there's no way and most of the time you can't react to it very fast enough so like that's really bad actually if you ask me that i find that kind of broken We got the same guy again. Oh well. A little bit of lag. Oh boy. Oh boy, he picked a doomsday. This is gonna be pretty hard. <coughs> oh, bless me. A little sneezy. The regime out for cool. Yeah. Once he has that on, he pretty much gets three hits every time. See?
I think he got me. Yep, he got me. Entire. I see a fix on here. Really can't fix this. Oh, but I, I was not paying attention that time. Sorry, dudes. Oh, you can actually cancel that. Okay. There we, there we go. I was about to say, like, did I get him or something? Well, he barely had any life left, so I bet even with Chip, he would have died from that anyway. Alright, I think this is going to be the last match for this week of Injustice for Raven! Alright, so... I've actually learned something new from that match, actually. Apparently, um, apparently, from what I've learned in that match, you can actually, um, besides that you can do, um, the teleport, and you know, which I pretty much, uh, knew that, already knew that, actually, after playing with her a bit offline, actually off camera in that. Uh, from what we learned in that match, which I didn't really know, actually, is that you can actually cancel her air attacks into her teleport if you're in her, uh, demon, if you're in her, in her, um, demon stance. Which is pretty cool, actually. I actually like that. That's a pretty good. That's a really great idea to make to create mix-ups. This is Daddy Rich again. How much you want to bet that maybe it's gonna end up being like the other one? Actually, how much do you want to bet? Hmm. I really don't know why the game ends when I play this guy as Raven. I guess maybe either. I guess maybe it's either just a problem with his internet or something, but I don't know. It seems that some people have problems with their internet. And, and that's why sometimes they, he, um, the game ends in that. But I do think that it's most of the time it's because they quit in that. about that anyway. I don't really react to those at all. Yeah, I think I had a feeling that's what was going to happen. If I had a feeling that's what that was, uh, that's what was going to happen. <laughs> and I did have a feeling that some, that was going to happen sometime soon, and that and I and it worked. I think we'll do one more match. Actually, I think I should have enough time to do it. Ah, oh, finally, we got somebody new this time. Not the same guy. Let's fish toss this week of Raven. Week of Raven with Teen Titans. Raven. Yeah, I think this will be the last official match. This is, if this guy quits, and I'm not going to do another match, it'll still be the end anyway. Who's he going to pick? 
Superman. Oh God, Superman. For some reason, I have a little hard time trying to beat Superman, really, with Raven. Oh. Never mind, the game ended. There's no longer real. I guess that'll be the end of this. That's the end of this one, then. Alright, guys. So, thanks for joining me for this week of Raven. I, I've had a bit of trouble with Raven and that, but, um... But I've learned quite a bit, actually, with her, actually. We've already, we've learned, full, so what have we learned so far this week? Um, we've learned that, um, she pretty much has, that as long as you mix up with the projectile, yeah, and then use a push move, as long as you're just less than a full screen away in that, in that against other projectile characters, she can pretty much lock them down and pretty much stop them from spamming projectiles thanks to her push move. Nah. And, um, and we've also learned that her teleport is a good way that when you're in her demon stance, she has that projectile that you can control how far it goes. If you do the EX version do the, and do the EX version, that full screen grab move, then she can pretty much do a, a pretty basic high damaging combo with it. And, and, and um, we've also learned that um, from a few matches ago that she can actually do an attack and cancel it into her, into her teleport. Or just a, as long as the, as long as you um as long as you're in her demon stance and you do that and you can pretty much do that for a variety of mixes you can cross a mob do just do the way it is because he might block the wrong the wrong way it creates a variety of mix-ups there was one thing I did learn from her offline though I just didn't do it in this week because I kept regaining use it it's her down back uh, mind attack. Is actually a, a move that absorbs projectiles. She can actually absorb it and gain meter at the same time. But you have to like do it either by prediction by both prediction and on a reaction. Yeah. And um uh and if you do the meter burn version of that move, you can actually send a very fast unblockable move that, you, that most of the time your opponent might not react to it. Now I should have maybe used it this whole week, but I kept forgetting about it, so it was my own fault. So that's the week of Injustice for Raven. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for actually watching this. Um, there is one character I do plan on doing for next week, actually, for a week off. So <clears throat> I'm extremely excited to try him out. It's one character that a lot of people don't really seem to pick him that much. Only a couple I've, se I've seen so far do, actually. Uh, you'll, have to you'll have to wait and find out when I play him next week, actually. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys next week for another week of Injustice.